is the extensor front, back is the flexor, and medial one is the adapter. And depending upon the position, extensor one is the front, anterior, flexor one is the back, and medial one is the adapter. Clear? Now, now we identify muscles of the back, that is flexor region. Collectively, flexor muscles, collectively called, this is the muscle back of the thigh, this is the hamstring muscle. Hamstring. Ham and stretch. You must try to understand what is the meaning of the ham and stretch. Ham means? Ham means? String means? String means rope like. Ham means? Ham string. This is the basic thing. And everything, uh, this uh, has been already written in the book. And uh, first of all, try to understand hamstring. What are the characters of the hamstring? Ham and Hathuri. Then Hathuri is the way that Hands are behind the knee. Behind the knee. Okay, thigh. This is the hamstring. Behind the knees is the rope like muscles. And characters, minimum five characters. Origin from the same place, insertion to the same place, nerve surface is the same, position is the same, action is the same. Now, origin from the shear tuberosity, insertion to the leg bone, location is the back of the knee or thigh, nerve supply is the tibial nerve, and action of the knee, flexure of the knee. Clear? So hamstring, this is a common character, hamstring. And now we identify hamstring muscle. Usually three hamstring muscle. And sometimes we say this is the fourth hamstring muscle also, partly one muscle. And when you identify hamstring muscle, it is better to identify from lateral to medial. Then it uh, no confusion. And <coughs> if you consider this, so everybody try to understand. This is the, actually try to understand, this is the muscle, is the flexor, flexor, what is it? Flexor, bicep bracket and bicep femoris. Bicep femoris. So, bicep is the flexor group of muscle, but name is bicep femoris. Back of the, back of the thigh is the bicep bracket. No, bicep femoris. Front of the arm is the bicep bracket. This is the front, flexor group. Here, back, flexor group, because of 90 degree rotation. During development, superior extremity, 90 degree uh, lateral rotation. And inferior extremity, 90 degree medial rotation. So, flexor surface go to back. Here, flexor surface come to front, due to opposite rotation. Opposite rotation, 90 degree, this is the lateral rotation, this is the 90 degree medial rotation. So flexor surface come back. This is flexor, this is flexor. But if you consider over here, this is the flexor, this is the flexor, this is the front. Extensor back. Here extensor front. Here extensor front. There. So you try to understand. So it's a, this is the muscle, this is the bicep. Biceps two. Bi means two, seps means Head, bicep, femoris. So two head, this is the long head, this is the short head, this is the short head. And as we have already mentioned, it will arise from the ischial tuberosity. So this head never come from the ischial tuberosity. It will come from the lateral leaf of the linear spara. So it is not included within the, by, this is the hemisphere. So you try to identify from lateral to Medial, the first one lateral, this is the long head of bicep, number one. Number two, semi, wait, wait, semi, wait, 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 semi tendinosus. Tendi, wait, 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 no, never said. Tendi, tendinosus. Tendi, neosus, yes. Tendi, semi tendinosus. Neosus. Semi tendinosus. Tendi, neosus. What is the 
Sometimes you say semi tendinous, like that. Semi tendinous. No? Semi tendinous. Semi tendinous. Semi tendinous. Simple. Semi tendinous. Semi tendinous. These are the things you know, when begin with the item, then it will be clear. It must be clear. Now, this is not the time to clarification these things. This is the time of exam. And so, you try to remember this thing. Semi tendinosus. This is a semi tendon. Is a tendon? This is a tendon. Partly tendon, partly muscle. Semi means partly, partly tendon, partly muscle. Semi tendinosus. Then semi membranous. So three clear. Three clear. This is lateral to medial, long head. Semi tendinosus. Semi membranosus. Last one. This is the adductor magnus, but. Shear fiber. Shear fiber. Shear fiber. Shear fiber. Shear. Adductor magnus. Magnus means? <coughs> magnus means? Large. Magnus means? Large. Large in the length Big. or in the size? Size. 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 Longest means? Longest means long. Sir. Long. These are length. long. These are brevious. Short. 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 Brevious means short. Adductor brevis. Adductor brevis means short. Adductor longus. But adductor magnus. Mega, mega, mega. Mega magnus. Size, the mega shell. So its origin is a different places like shell tuberosity, then ischial rami and pubic rami. Ischio pubic rami. So start from ischial tuberosity, then ischio pubic rami. This is the magnus. This is the magnus. The ischial fiber, as we have already discussed, the character of the hamstring muscle arises from ischial tuberosity. This part arises from tubal, uh, ischial tuberosity. So ischial fiber acts as hamstring. Ischial fiber of what? Adductor magnus. Clear? So it is mega attached from ischial tuberosity, then a curve. Then ischial, this is ischial uh, rami, then pubic rami. If you see your bone, then you just see this is the muscle attached from ischial tuberosity, side of the ischial tuberosity, then ischial and pubic rami. So ischial pubic rami, north, this is the uh, hemistic, this is the adductor part. Ischial pubic rami, that is the adductor part. But from ischial tuberosity part, that will act as fourth hemistic muscle. Fourth hemistic muscle. And that part attached to the leg bone, no. Near to leg bone, our principle is all attached to the leg bone. You see, this is the long head and short head unite and it will form single and it is attached to the neck of fibula, the leg bone. Semi tendinosus and semi membranosus. Both attached to this leg bone, tibia, tibia. But if we consider the ischial fibers of adductor magnus, never say this is attached to leg bone, but near to leg bone, where? Adductor tibia. Adductor tibia. Correct. Adductor near to leg bone. So it, it will consider as fourth hemistic muscle. Clear? And that part, whole three, four portion is supplied by tibial nerve. But ischial pubic rami, that part, part of the adductor magnus, is supplied by obturator nerve, adductor group. Clear? Yes, so this is the explanation. This is the explanation. So this is the hamstring muscle. Never um, uh, do mistake during identification. This is the hamstring muscle. Clear? Yes, sir. Uh, hamstring muscle. And this is the short head. This is the not the hamstring. It is supplied by the common peroneal nerve. <laughs> Attached to the lateral leaf and uh, lateral leaf of the linear spara. Linear spara. So these are these uh, muscles of the back. 
muscles of the back, you try to remember. And muscles of the back of the leg, I got the best thing. The two head of the gastrocnemius and and soleus, soleus, soleus. Two head of the gastrocnemius, lateral head and medial head, and this is the soleus. And these three head unite, and it was single tricep, triceps again triceps three heads. two head and this is the soleus triceps, triceps suri, yes back of the leg, back of suri, and this is one one nerve. This is a sural nerve and sural communicating nerve, back of the leg. They call it, this is the cutaneous nerve, sural nerve and sural communicating nerve. And this is the triceps, triceps suri. No, triceps suri. Another name. Actually, this is the two head of the gastrocnemius and soleus. And this soleus is the soleus is the peripheral heart. Peripheral heart. And collectively, three muscles is the calf muscle. This is the flexor group of muscles. Anti-gravity, yeah, muscles. And this is the one compartment. In deep compartment, this is muscles. And the plantar is okay. And, and deep compartment muscle, flexor, that's a flexor group. Female is posterior, flexor, hallucis, longus. Flexor, digital longus. This is the deep compartment muscle. Deep compartment. And deepest one, one muscle over here. Deepest muscle. You see. No. You see? Popliteus. Popliteus, yes. Popliteus, yes. This is a popliteus muscle over here. Is this one? You hold it? This one? This is the popliteus. Popliteus. Popliteus, popliteus, popliteal surface. Popliteus above the solial line. Back of the tibia. Above the solial line, solial line gives atas the soleus. Above the solial line, triangular area. Triangular area, they attach to the popliteus. And this popliteus muscle is very important muscles of, for the functions of the knee joint. And this popliteus attached uh, above, it is attached to which condyle of the femur? Lateral or medial condyle? Lateral. Lateral, lateral condyle, lateral. yes. The lateral, lateral surface of the lateral condyle, there is a groove. This is the tendon of the popliteus attached. And this tendon is intracapsular. Intracapsular but extra synovial. Just like that, this is a long head of the bicep, intracapsular but extra synovial. This is the tendon of the popliteus, intracapsular but extra synovial. If we consider bone, tibia, tibia condyle, two condyle, behind the lateral condyle there is a sloping, Sloping, and this is the tendon come out from this joint, and it is attached to this this is a popliteal surface of tibia by muscular attachment. Origin tendinous, insertion muscular. Clear? And here bicep brachii also. The long head of the bicep brachii. Origin tendinous, insertion muscular. Muscular, but. Not purely muscular, bicep brachii, two head unite and bicepital tendon, this is the tendinous insertion, another aponeurotic insertion. But here purely this insertion is muscular. But here one muscle adductor longus, adductor longus, the origin is tendinous, but insertion is muscular. For that reason, this is a popliteus, the deepest muscle of the leg back of the leg, deepest one, is attached above the solial line. And this popliteus is functionally called this unlocking muscle. Unlocking, unlocking yes. Why? Why it is unlocking? Why you call unlocking? What does it mean? We are standing, but this is the extension of the knee. Correct? When you ask, when you ask, anybody ask, this is a, whether even in which position in the knee joint, this is extension position. This is also extension position. But when, this is a stand easy, like that, stand easy. My attention, everybody very alert. And then, femur is tightly packed over the upper end of the tibia. And all cushiotic cabin is bed top. Attention. Attention. 
But when stand easy and when attention position and when do exchange flexion start, then popliteus first of all popliteus will rotate the TB femur over the tibia medial rotation. Then flexion start. It is unlocked. This is the door. It is locked. First of all, it open so the uh, key. Then push come within this like that. So initiator of flexion is the popliteus. Flexion initiated by popliteus. So it is the unlocking muscle. And what is the mechanism? A bit different. So we try to uh, clarify later on. I am saying now this uh, popliteus is the initiator of flexion. For that reason, it is the unlocking muscle. What is the mechanism? It will be a bit explaining uh, explanation. So you try to remember like this. So this is the flexor group of muscle. All are supplied by tibial nerve. This is tibial nerve. This is common peroneal nerve. Common peroneal nerve. Common peroneal nerve. Let us have aspect of the. This is the. Uh, neck of the fibula, this fibula, it will divide into two, superficial peroneal and deep peroneal. No, no, this is common, divide, superficial and deep. Superficial peroneal nerve, it is, it will supply these two muscles, then it becomes cutaneous and supply this side. This is muscle supply, this is the cutaneous supply. There, and deep one go to the front, the peroneal arm. In front of the leg, not arm, not arm. And this is the leg, this is the deep peroneal arm that will supply the extensor group of muscle. Extensor, yes, extensor group of muscle. Now, any injury over here and injure this nerve, then this group of muscle undergo paralysis. Then this actions of, by the actions of the flexor group, it will pull the foot back to the flexed position. Yes, foot 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 foot. Foot. due to the injury to the common peroneal nerve and paralysis of the extensor. This is the mechanism of foot drop, like this over here. If, the, if radial lump injured in the radial group, then this group of muscle no function, then flexor group of muscle just release the straw. Same mechanism. Same mechanism. Clear? So you try to remember like this. So this is the peroneal group, this is the peroneus longus and peroneus babies. Two muscles. Peroneus longus and peroneus babies. This is very hard one. And this is the tendraculis, tendocalcaneus. This is the dense regular connective tissue and is formed by these collagen fibers. And the cell responsible for the uh, forming collagen, this is the fibroblast. Fibroblast cell, blast cell. Fiber producing cell is a fibroblast. Bone producing cell, blood cell. Blood cell producing cell, hemocytoblast. Hemocyte producing cell, hemocytoblast. Megakaryocyte producing cell, megakaryoblast. Like that. All blast cells are producing cells. Clear? So it is a fibroblast, fibroblast cell that is produce all fibers, main collagen, then reticular, then elastic. Uh, elastic is the mostly, then third one is reticular. Reticular is form, is all network. Reticulum means network. So it will form, it will mainly present is the, is the hemopoietic organ. As for example, liver, spleen, bone marrow, all uh, high mass, yes, and elastic fiber that will all structures where is the a bit expansion that is lung, large arteries, epiglottis, vocal cord, auditory right tube that is uh, elastic cartilage, all of the sides for elastic. Huh? Okay, so this is the uh, these muscles after this is the plantar flexion. Plantar flexion. So it is flexor group of muscle. So plantar flexion do, and this is the plantar flexion, the true flexion. Dorsi flexion, also another flexion. It is performed by the extensor group of muscle, but as it is performed by the extensor group, so dorsi flexion or true flexion, it is the extension. Actor joint, 
নাইন পার্সেন্ট দিয়ে যাবে যে ক্লাসে যাবো তো আপনার একটা সাইড হয়ে গেছে আরেকটা সাইড তোমার একটু দেখাও কেউ দেয়া দেখে দিই আমি ব্যাক সাইড দেখতে সময় লাগে না করলে তো হয় না সময় লাগে আর যদি কাকু বলো যে ওই ফ্রন্টটা দেখাই দিই মোটামুটি কিছু ধারণা দিয়ে দিয়ে ফেলেছি আমি আমি ক্লাসে যাবো ক্লাসে যাবো তাহলে যেটা বলছিলাম হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ এটা একটা জয়েন্টে ওয়ান জয়েন্ট নেভার ডু বোথ ফ্লেকশন ওয়ান এক্স ফ্লেকশন অ্যান্ডার ওয়ান এক্সেলেকশন ইয়ে আর ডুইং প্ল্যান্টার ফ্লেকশন অ্যান্ড ড্রপ সিটুয়েশন বিকজ বোথ কাম ইন কন্ট্যাক্ট টুগেদার বোথ কাম ইন কন্ট্যাক্ট টুগেদার অ্যান্ড ডুইং দিস ইজ দ্য অলসো দ্যাট ইজ অ্যাপোজিশন অফ সারফেসেস অ্যান্ড রিডাকশন অফ অ্যাঙ্গেল বাট ওয়েন ইউ এক্সপ্লেন দিস ওয়ান this performed by the flexor group of muscle so it is plantar flexion so it is the true flexion and performed by the extensor group of muscle is the dorsi flexion is the false flexion. flexion but extension so you try to do and do practice dorsi flexion and plantar flexion both dorsi flexion and plantar all the movements of the ankle joint ankle joint two movement in the axial joint dorsi flexion and plantar flexion dorsi and plantar clear inversion and eversion no this is the movement of active, uh, um, ankle joint it is a talo calcaneo navicular subtalar joint it is a inversion and eversion uh, you try to clarify your understanding then it will be g here the fascia the fascia pluris fascia pluris here fascia lata clear fascia pluris they are taken this is a flexor reticulum here taken extensor reticulum the reticulums all are the thickening of the deep fascia just to hold up this is a group of muscle and hold up this uh, this group of muscle flexor reticulum and extensor reticulum clear artery here one artery come this is the femoral. this is the femoral artery from front to back this is the popliteal artery here the present popliteal this is the popliteal artery popliteal artery. popliteal artery and popliteal vein uh, this is one artery and this one vein white caliber vein is white caliber thin and crass artery is a this is a narrow caliber this is a thick and patent patent and this is the lowest opening of the adductor magnus lowest of the adductor the femoral artery come and this is a continued as popliteal artery and this is a popliteal artery go as femoral artery and this is the lowest opening of the adductor magnus is the osseo aponeurotic opening the five opening of the adductor magnus this is the lowest of fifth opening another four opening test makes the perforating arteries that will lead the branch of arteria profunda femoris here arteria profunda brachii here arteria profunda femoris profunda means deep profunda means deep, deep. there's four perforating branch and one continuation this is the femoral artery from femoral triangle it will come through the adductor canal that will transmit this vessel from front to back this is adductor canal or subsutorial canal or hunter's canal hunter's canal hunter's canal and this is the transmit this vessels and come back then it continue as popliteal artery popliteal lower border of the popliteus opposite the tibial diversity it will divide in the subtibial and anterior tibial anterior tibial go front so the upper part of the interosseous membrane gap so this it will go front and in front of the angle angle joint it will continue as arteria dorsalis pedis arteria means artery dorsalis means dorsum of the foot pedis means foot foot pedis means foot and posterior tibial artery go back then from the underneath the flexor reticulum it will go to the plantar surface divided into two medial and lateral lateral plantar and medial plantar lateral plantar it is this is arteria dorsalis pedis on the proximal part of the interosseous interosseous past interosseous space inter metatarsal space inter metatarsal space this is come down into the plantar aspect and it will anastomose with the lateral plantar artery complete the lateral plantar artery so it is the uh, this is the ending from here this is the digital branches that will supply the digit yes clear here uh, radial artery and ulnar artery 
it will form deep and superficial palm art arts. From where it will supply the digital glass. <coughs> Clear? Yes. So uh, here uh, I'll stop and uh, another one will come and see the front side and identify like this way. They need to be never forget and never uh, do mistake in the identify the major or raw structures. They need to be G4. Uh, this is uh, pass, pass. Not only pass, you must know something about the dead body. Then it will be uh, clear that not only passing, but you, I know something about the dead body, about this muscle, about the nerves, about the vessels, about the mode of actions. Clear? Thank you.